Hey, it's Danny here. It's iPad Tuesday. So today, I'm going to show you some things that will make it a little bit easier to search the web on your iPad. One is when you pull up search results or any links on your iPad, if you put your finger on the link and then just hold it there, a little box will pop up and you can open in new tab. That makes it really easy to be able to keep your search results on one page and then look at other web pages while your search results are there. We've got some old te technology here going off in the background. Um, so that's a really easy way to make your searches easier. Just hold your finger on it and a window will pop up, open in new tab or open in new page. Then another one is the plus sign. If you have a website that you go to all the time, you're constantly going to it, like Facebook or something, hit the plus sign and you can hit add, add to home screen. And it'll actually put a little button, just like an app, on your screen and you can go to that website anytime. You just click on the button, it'll open Safari and go right to the site. So that's a really easy way to get to that website. And then the third thing that you can do that makes it really easy to surf on the iPad is if you're on a website or a blog and you've scrolled all the way down and you want to get back to the top, instead of having to scroll all the way back up to the top, if you just touch the bar where the domain name is, touch right under the domain name, just touch that and it'll bring you all the way right back up to the top of the web page. So sometimes you can get onto a blog or some page that just goes on and on and on and on. You want to jump back up to the top to see something, just click the bar. It'll take you right back up to the top. Okay, well, I hope you're having a great week, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another tip.